I was sitting in one of my film classes this week and I realized that I've never talked to you guys about my favorite films or movies in general. I found it kind of odd that I'd never actually talked to you guys about my favorite movies before so I thought that now would be the best time than ever considering the fact I'm now at film school. I've also been watching a lot of YouTube videos lately of people talking about their favorite films so it kind of inspired me to kind of hop on the bandwagon if you will. So without further ado, these are my three favorite movies. Number one, Shawshank Redemption. Uh, Shawshank is one of my favorite movies for a few reasons. One of them, that movie like got to me. I remember watching in my grade 12 film class and there's a moment that kind of like, I like stepped back from the movie but I was still heavily invested in it. It was a really weird feeling. I remember from that point onward watching, I was so obsessed with what was gonna happen. I don't think I like blinked for like that other like 45 minutes of the film. I also really liked it because of the cinematography, like the camera movements that they use. They're not abstract or anything, but it does a lot of like subtle pans and tilts. There's even a role actually in the film, which is kind of interesting because filmmakers don't really use a role often. I would definitely rate Shawshank as one of my favorite movies. It's also a cult classic, um, and I feel like everyone has like their favorite like cult movie. Number two, Stand By Me. If I can only have one food for the rest of my life, that's easy. Pass. Cherry flavor pass. It is such a good movie. Like, I've talked about it a few times this week, actually, with people. Um, it's one of my, like, go-to movies. It's nostalgic. It's just... Actually, yeah, it's nostalgic. That's it. Like, the movie itself is nostalgic, like, the storyline, but also I watched it at a point in my life where... I felt like I was very heavily relating to the characters in the film. I would definitely classify it as like an 80s film, however it's not not to gender 80s movies but um, I always feel like they're pandering towards like female audiences and this one is not. There's no love other than brotherly love and like friendship in the film. And I find movies like that really powerful, they always kind of they hit home. Number three, Her. Um. Funny story why I like this film. In grade 12 film, again, I had to do a paper on a director and I chose Spike Jones, who is the one who directed her. It's an excellent film. It's shot beautifully. I obsess over it sometimes. There's like certain aspects of the film that they're awesome. And in the sense, not just, and I don't mean awesome as in like a very colloquial term. I mean awesome as in like it fills me with awe. The color palettes are, as everyone knows, are astounding and very aesthetically pleasing, um, but the camera movements are so subtle, the framing is beautiful. Also, there's a few scenes where you can tell that they did something accidentally with shooting, but it worked well. Like, you can tell that they filmed some scenes in one day, and you can see from where the sun is shining, but um, it actually fit the storyline with the sun rising and sun setting. Um, so that was interesting. The set design, costume, everything, I just appreciate it. Yeah, like it's a great film, but that's it. Those are my three favorite films. Um, let's make this a conversation and keep it going. If you want, you can either leave a video response and yes, I know they don't actually exist anymore, but I would love to actually watch people talk about their films because I know that a lot of people get kind of passionate about it. I'm a little passive today. Um, not feeling too great. Weather's not that great. It's affecting me. But if you guys don't want to make a video, that's completely fine. I'm, I'd be more than welcome to just read lists in my comment section. But that's it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will definitely be making more. Bye.